Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. On our previous videos, I already shown you guys some of the VPN setup of Microtech. I also demonstrated how to set up side-to-side -side VPN. For this video, I will demonstrate now how to set up VPN on remote user. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch it first so you can fully benefit this video content. Without further ado, let's get started. I have here a topology. In the main office, I will set up the VPN server. For this demonstration, I will set up L2TP over IPsec and make an IP pool for the remote VPN users. Then in the remote user side, I will connect my laptop using the Windows built-in VPN. When the computer successfully connect to the VPN, it will then get an IP address coming from the IP pool that we created in the main office Microtech. Let's now do the configuration. I will access the Microtech device of the main office. I am done doing the basic configuration. Make sure that this device has already an internet. Let's try doing a ping test. Alright, so as what you can see, we have an internet in this router. We will now configure this device to be the L2TP VPN server. Go to PPP, then in the interface tab, Go to L2TP server, then click Enable. For the default profile, we will create a new profile later. But for now, let's choose here the use IPsec, yes. Then input here the password, pressured key. Then click Apply, then OK. We'll go next to IP pool. So IP, then pool. Then create an IP pool for our VPN users. So I'll name this one VPN pool. Then I'll input an IP address of 10.1.1-.2-10.1.1-2. Apply, then OK. We will now go next to Profiles. Then create, uh, click plus to create a new profile. Then we will name this one VPN profile local address is 10.1.1 then remote address is the pool that we created then for the protocols tab use encryption yes then for the limits tab only one yes apply then okay we'll now go next to secrets tab click plus then we will create uh, credentials for our VPN users. So I'll na name this one for the username VPN user1. Then for the password, I'll just input 1234. Then for the service, I'll choose L2TP. Then for the profile, I'll choose VPN profile. Apply. Then OK. Then for the profile tab, click the for the interface tab rather, go to L2TP server. Then for the default profile, you can choose VPN profile. Apply. Then OK. Let's now go to the network of the remote user. I will transfer the cable of my laptop to network of the remote user. I'll transfer the network of my laptop to this network. All 
All right, we are now connected to the network of the remote user. 10.20.30.254, 10.20.30.254. Let's connect now to the VPN. Go to your Windows settings. Type VPN. Click VPN settings. Then click add a VPN connection. For the VPN provider, we will choose Windows built-in. Then connection name. Input here a name you want to be shown. So I'll, I'll just name this one VPN test. Then for the server name, input here the one IP address of your main office router. So in our case, it's 192.168.200.2. Then for the VPN type, choose L2TP over IPsec with pre shared key. And input here the pre shared key. Then username, input here the username that we created. Password 1234. Save. Then click the VPN test, then click connect. Alright, as what you can see, we are now connected with the VPN. Let's go to network settings. We'll click this one and details as you can see the IP address now that we are getting is 10.1.1.2 coming from the IP pool in our main office. When we do the research, you will see here that this IP is our VPN, then this IP is the gateway of the main office to one item was say two hundred dot one gateway. So when I'll try to access this router, I can now access it. Connect. All right. So we are we are connect we connected it successfully. So if you have a server in your main office and you want to access it on your home, you can do it by using VPN. Let's disconnect the VPN. Remove. Oh, we are now disconnected. So if we try to access again the router of the main office, we cannot access it now. So and when we do tracer, we are now connected to our local network. 10.20.30.1 this one 1.168.230.1 one is the one IP address gateway of the remote user network this is it guys on how to set up VPN on remote user if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.